Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So today is another episode of our hashtag Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. So this week it was favorite color and bird. Um, so last week we picked these out. Um, I was able to get those tacked down and we have our bird and she is now tacked down as well. Um, so we have this yellow yo-yo we are actually going to today um, stitch on here and then I picked out this button to go here in the middle so we will then put that button on there so we will go ahead and just jump right in hope you're all doing well today really haven't been um, doing a lot to be honest with you guys had a had a good bit going on um, yeah so I haven't been doing a whole whole lot in my craft room at all so with this I'm just going through just barely over that and then coming back over the edge here in order to tack that down that's all I'm doing. Nothing spectacular. You don't get spectacular over here. We just get, hopefully, just enough to get by. That's what you get over here. Hope you are all having beautiful weather where you are. It's absolutely beautiful weather here in Georgia. I think, um, let's see, I'm filming on Thursday. This will go up on Saturday. I am taking Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off of work for my birthday. Monday is my birthday. Uh, and if you guys have not checked it out, check out um, my video. I am doing a month-long celebration uh, for my birthday, which will result in a giveaway on June the 1st. And then sometime in June, I will be making a donation journal. And um, that donation journal will be auctioned off on my YouTube channel when it is done uh, because everyone participating will have an item or ever how many items they send for the journal uh, in the journal that I'm gonna make and 100% of the pro proceeds are going to charity for Ukrainian Ukrainian refugees I can't talk so I am super excited about that I've already had a couple in and some more of my friends out there contact me and tell me that they have mailed a package off so I am so super excited about that just stab myself so yeah really excited about that so if you're interested in seeing what that is all about just go over there check that out I am sending out um, weekly reminder videos if you just want to clip on it and then the original video is linked in the description box so yeah super super excited for sure um, about that so yeah I think we may I think the um, I mean it is really nice out there but I think the um, wind is supposed to kick up and then I think tomorrow we actually have a little bit of rain not a lot it's only like 30 percent I think so not a lot but a slight chance of rain and I'm working tomorrow which is Friday so and then I have my um, next two shots tomorrow for my allergies so hoping as we get more and more of that in me it will really help because that has been really really rough with the allergies guys so bad so bad this year like right now my eyes are watering so bad everything's like blurry so you know they said it could take some time though for the meds to kick in like lots of times guys I have to go 
every week for 30 to 34 weeks straight. Okay, so that's got that. So we will tie this off. Um, yeah, 30 to 34 weeks straight for weekly shots. And then after that, hopefully it will be monthly. So, all right. Awesome. So we got that. So now we will... Um, get our button sewed on here. Sorry guys, I gotta wipe my eyes. Oh goodness. Okay. So, let's see. Look, that button matches my nails at the moment. Funny. It's going to do that there. We'll do it the lazy way, I guess. Alright, so... Okay, button. Let's cooperate here now. My hands are just not working with me today, which is... huge reason why I don't do a whole lot of stitching ah. is because my hands do not at all want to cooperate with what needs to happen Okay, so this is probably going to be a disaster. Well, we got it back in that one. Let's just roll with that, I guess. I don't know if it's really going to be tight enough. Okay, maybe it's getting tighter. okay I think that's good yep so we were able to get the button on there all right so hopefully we can get it tied off and it will be tight hopefully Okay, I think we got it. Let's see. Okay, yep, I think we're good. Alright, so he needs an eyeball. I need, um, what do I need? I think I'll make it black, and I think I'll do it right here where this flower is. And I have some black thread right here which should be enough let's see so let's get it threaded up just my glasses because I can't see that so that's good all right so we said about in this here one two three Ha, 
there we go. All right, that's cute. Oh, that is cute. I like that. Okay. So, let's get this tied off. And then we'll just talk about what's going to go on next. Okay. So, what I'm still thinking, and I'm not sure exactly what kind I want, but I think in this area... I mean, because we could call it done now. Um, in this area right here, have some flowers. Um, let's see what's running around down in here. Not quite sure what all we have in here. Look, we got a cute little heart. Oh, that would look cute up there. Let's take one of those out and just see. I think maybe it goes... Nope. I think it goes this way. Oh, well, that's really cute. Okay. So I like that. Let's see. I'm not even sure that that's pretty well I think I can see it really good I'm just not sure that you guys can see it really good um, do we have this that's kind of pretty I'm trying to figure out where to use this I think this is an antique um, piece from Rachel well in fact I know it is from Rachel over at Roxy Creations oh that might be cute there here we have some beads Maybe I should go on and search how to put these beads on. These beads may be cute. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So, who knows exactly what's going to go on down here, guys. Because I am certainly not decided yet exactly what's going to be happening um, down there. Well, that needs to go back in there. Yep, not exactly sure. But right now, this is what we have. Should we go ahead and sew that on? Are we committed? I think... Um, let me lower you guys. You guys hold on. I think perhaps I am committed to that. That's pretty. This. Sure about. Is that pretty bird? Hmm. Alright, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and not unthread our needle here. And go ahead and sew on the heart. I think it's cute. So let me get a knot here. And we are thinking on that and the beads. About maybe doing something. So let's see. What we can do here to get... Hello. Oh, that's not going to go through there, is it? That is that. Oh, that's that. Um, let's bring it over some, maybe. Yep, there we go. 
You got it through there. So we can just go around the heart and get it tacked down. And then we will think on the flowers and what to do at the bottom and the beads. Yeah, this is going to be cute. Aw, oh, man. I unthreaded my needle. Okay. It's alright. We could just thread it back. Yep, I seriously feel... Just can't see. Okay, what happened? Okay, we got it. Here. getting quiet I'm not sure why everyone tends to do that or not everyone but seems like almost everyone for me it is trying not to stab myself with the needle get really quiet concentrating okay In here Oops. Okay, get out from around there. Okay, there we go. Really gonna love this book once it's done. Cannot wait. Because I don't sew, guys. I'm not an embroiderer. I just don't do things like this. So, yeah. Very, very excited about my book. So, thank you, Rachel and Sarah, for coming up with this idea. It's been fun. Just waiting every week for the prompts, or once a month for the prompts to come out. Being super excited. Okay, I think that's good. She's going to stay on there. Can you imagine someone sitting and holding this like, you know, 80 to 100 years from now? Who will have it? What will they be saying? If it gets lost from my family, people will be sitting, as I do, or at least I think, and... Just imagine and come up with a scenario, 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 whichever one, in your head about who the person was, what their life was like, you know, kind of, you know, fantasizing about, about them. Alright guys, so that is going to be, I'm going to raise you up just a tad, the video for this week, and yeah, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, hashtag it. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. If you don't mind, if you would please um, just take like half a socket and go up and um, hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. It will help my channel grow. I am trying to grow my channel. Uh, tell your friends about me. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think so far from someone who's not an embroiderer or a stitcher or a sewer or anything that has to do with thread and fabric. I'm really proud of myself. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.